Hello! In this episode, we'll be creating our enemy character and the enemy health class, just like we did with the player character. So in the last episode, we created our first person character class for its health, and then we edited the current first person character blueprint to have some more variables that we needed. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is incorporate a way to prototype our enemy. As in this section of these tutorials, we're just going to be creating a prototype game using stockholder models and animations. So to do that, I'm going to go into my Unreal Launcher and I'm going to add my Animation Starter Project Pack to my current project. And now we have all these new animations and player character in our project. So. I'm just going to copy this character, duplicate it, name this enemy character 1, and I'm going to press this button to get a folder up content like this, and I'm going to create a new folder in here for enemy, put enemies, go back to my starter pack, find my enemy character 1 and just drag that into the enemies folder and click move. And we're also going to duplicate the blueprint, which we'll name enemy and in blueprint, and move that into the enemies as well. And we'll open up this new enemies one. So first thing is we're going to make sure this is using the right one. So we'll go to animation blueprint generated class, and we want our enemy animation blueprint. Nothing's going to change at the moment. And that's all we need there for now. And the next thing we're going to need to do is add some variables like we did in the last one. So we can get rid of all this input and just recompile because we don't need any of that for our enemy characters. It's going to be controlled by the AI. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is on event begin play. We're going to tell it to spawn default controller because sometimes I've noticed when the character is spawning it doesn't spawn them with the AI controller. So I'm just going to put that in there for good measure. And now we're going to add our variables. The first variable is going to be health which is going to be an integer and we'll set that to 100 like we did with our player character. Uh, we're going to have one named is attacking and that's going to be a boolean and we're going to have one named attack time and that's going to be a float we could also change this is attacking to enemy state and we can use our player state enum to say whether they're alive shooting taking damage or dead and for shooting as this will be a zombie survival type 1, we'll just use shooting as attacking. So we could actually go back to our enumeration, open that up and change shooting to attacking. And that will change it for our first person character as well. And now we're going to create our enemy health class. So in enemies, we're going to want to create a new class, just like we did. So animation blueprint class. Um, actor component, enemy health, and we're going to want to open that up, add a new function named take damage, with an input of our enemy character, because this is going to be applied to many characters, we're going to have to specify which one we want to damage. And that is going to be a character reference. So we go to character. I'm also going to need a current health variable inputted, which will be an integer, and damage taken, which will also be an integer. And just like the player health one, we're doing integer minus integer, current health minus damage. 
and we want to hold B and left click to bring our branch as we're going to want to check if the enemy's new health is less than or equal to zero. And if it is, we're going to want to call a new function which we'll make now called death, just like the player one. And death is also going to take the enemy character input. So we'll need that. So we'll search for a character object type using our enemy character here as our enemy character to pass. And then we want to return our new health. So we'll put new health. And that'll be an integer. And the return node will be called by both the false and the true. Using this calculated value as the health. Okay, so that's exactly like the player help class, as the taking damage is going to be the same for any character. However, in death, for now, what we'll just do is destroy our actor. Destroy actor, enemy character. Which is why we needed that enemy character reference. So in the next video, we'll be looking at creating the enemy attack class, and then how we're going to use the enemy to find and attack our player. So we'll begin the workings on the AI. So I hope you enjoyed the video and stick around if you want to see that. Thanks. Bye.